the concert music for strings and brass is more of a rarity. It's strange in that it omits the woodwinds entirely and there's no percussion. It features the brass section quite a lot, uh, as you'd expect. It's a real treat for us in the brass section to be able to play a piece where we can show a lot of what our instruments can do. The first movement is very distinctive of Hindemith's style. It's like you hear that first movement and it could only be Hindemith. He has a way of crafting these long, complex melodies like you hear right at the beginning of the piece. And it's very characteristic of, of what his music is about. There are some beautiful solos in the second movement uh, for the trombone and for the trumpet. and they're, they're really soaring, thoughtful sort of writing. It's a great opportunity to show the more sensitive side of a brass instrument. There's a lot of more powerful playing in this piece as well. The, the last movement is sort of a real rip-roaring thing, uh, the way it ends. 